Good day and uh, whatever the hell. Uh, as you can see, the DeLorean is still flying. You know, just uh, you know, acquired this very recently, and uh, you know, it's a bit of a thing that doesn't really make sense to have. I understand that, but the fact that you can do it is what I like. You can, if you so choose, get yourself a levitating platform and put a DeLorean on it and have it float in your room and you know whatever it's stupid it doesn't need to exist but I like it and uh, I just acquired some new things to play with I like toys I'm a toy person uh, this is the scrolling message board thing you can get these on eBay for not so you know maybe fourteen dollars this is really good to have on your you know if you have a name tag at work or somewhere you can have it scroll and light up in the dark instead of just being on your on your you know regular name tag this is a scrolling one and you can do this for anything you can have messages for your business on it or something like that eat at Joe's you can have a you know whatever you want I think this is the future man I mean some point down the line we're just gonna have these kinds of things uh, I mean anywhere this can be on our alarm clock this could be a uh, I don't know what but you can have this on your clothes and it'll give you little messages about the weather and of course the time unfortunately this thing does not display the time it would be nice if it had a built-in clock so that you could use it as a clock and have it have a time on it. It's weird though. I don't think there's a function for that. But it does what exactly what it says. You can change the message to anything you want. I'm hoping to use this for uh, my Static Shock movie that I'm, I'm working on. And uh, what it's going to be able to do is uh, just be something cool. I mean, that's, 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 that's what I like to see in movies. Stuff that's just cool. You know, like... Uh, the Batman gadgets, half of them are really impractical and make no sense to him to have. He has a ball crusher gadget. He has a belt that has some sort of traction thing in it that, that makes the thing go around the belt. You know, and I don't know what else. Batman's car has an armor built into it that doesn't make any sense and goes nowhere. But that's what, you know, I like Pee Wee Herman's whole, whole line of gadgets that he has. I mean, he just has shit on him that he really doesn't make any sense to have, but he, you know, of course, the Goonie Gadget Kid, that was amazing. Uh, the bike Pee Wee has with all the gadgets in it. So th this is, is essentially the same thing. What I'm making is uh, very much in line with the comic book world in that they typically have shit on their suit and gadgets built into their, their arsenal that really are just excessive and stupid. Like the new Spider-Man. He has squinty eyes now, apparently. What the hell is that about? But, you know, I will be buying a new Spider-Man toy. I had I had a couple Spider-Man toys back in the good old days. And yet, this, you know, disappeared. So, I will be purchasing a new Spider-Man toy. And uh, I'm still waiting for a call from the post office to get started at the post office. I did accept the job offer. They did indeed hire me. And yet, I'm here standing here waiting for any kind of move forward movement on that. And nothing's going anywhere, so I might have to go with plan B. Always have a backup plan. And uh, try to get my job back at the airport. And then just work the airport job for a couple of months. And, uh, you know, once you save up enough money, go after a CDL license. Become a truck driver, something of that magnitude. You know, and uh, that's not such a bad thing. So, uh, you know, hopefully this project really goes through and who's going to see it is the question. Not really banking on anybody watching my projects. That's the thing. And, you know, the internet is a place where I've been, I've been hanging on the internet since a long time ago. And, you know, it's, it's been a long journey on the internet and it is a sca it's 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 a random crapshoot you will never know who's watching your videos you will never have a understanding of you know your audience 
or who's going to care, but I think people will like what I'm creating. I guarantee you, if you stick with me and you you watch what I'm making and you you know you give it a shot you will enjoy it. I've got a lot of cool things I'm thinking about putting into the trailer and this is what I do. I am not someone who's doing this out of some stupid you know childish intention to create silly video on the internet like a lot of them. This is something that I've been doing since I forever. I've always been uh, manipulating and creating videos so maybe there's a career in this if I can ever get you know certified and all that stuff I'd love to do it I think you know when I get into it and I'm deep in the process of editing and creating a film it really is enjoyable you know when you finally get the end result that you were looking for so all I can say is that this is what I do I enjoy it it's been something I've been doing since high school and uh, I don't intend to stop and of course, I'm hoping that this does ignite some interest in a Static Shock live action something in Hollywood. Because I sit at my age now and I look on all these websites about the new crop of superheroes and comic book movies. And they're just the same thing I've been seeing since I was 14. A group of white superheroes, white comic book characters doing white comic book character things. And that's just, it's to me, it's just boring. I, don't, I love white women. I don't care about white men. I will bone the hell out of a white girl. But it is not interesting to me to see more movies and stories and everything completely centered around their lifestyle. It is getting aggravating. It's like... I've been watching those movies so long. It's just, I don't need to see more of it. I don't think anybody needs to see more of it. I think, yeah, there is an interest in this populace, even white people, to see movies showcasing the complexities of life of everybody else. There's no end to the amount of movies and stuff made about white life. There's nothing stopping that. We're going to get more. We're going to see more. We're going to keep getting more. But, you know, what would really be fun is to uh, tackle Spanish life, Indian life, black life. And my favorite is Asian life. I love Asian culture. I really do. It's something that I think I have in me. I don't know if I'm part Asian or something like that. But I've just been so, for years now, if I had to go back to university and study something, which I don't intend to, I would definitely get into Asian culture. I love, I think it's so peaceful. I think it's something about Asian life and culture that is better than every other culture. It's just so much more, because they, 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 you know, they are all about physical and mental well-being. And, you know, here in America, we just don't do that. Over there, you know, I think they're far ahead of everybody. I don't know how far, I don't know, but their school systems are better. Uh, everybody over there is so peaceful. I mean, all the Asian people I ever meet are just so relaxed in life. They don't, they don't have this, this angst in them about anything. It's just like, well, let's say fair attitude. And I think they're, they're doing things properly over there. And I, I wish I could see more of that in TV. I wish you could see more Asian oriented stuff because you, you know, they pretty much capture everybody. Asian people are white to some extent. And they're black to some extent. They're pretty much everybody. So you pretty much are like capturing the entire spectrum of humanity through Asian entertainment. Because you don't you you know, you're not gonna get that same uh you know, bearing the world weight of the world on your shoulders attitude that you're gonna get from white people's movies. Their movies are about cataclysmic, apocalyptic end of the world if if we don't save the world attitude and Asian movies are about I'm Asian and it's awesome and I can do martial arts and I'm gonna kick your ass and I love that shit that's really what I've always loved I never really felt like it was something that I had to like but I believe in Asian culture I believe in martial arts I believe in the discipline that it gives you because you know at times I gotta say 
when I feel like uh, I'm, I'm losing my mind a little bit, I do think about, you know, what it means to be in control of your body as a martial artist. In control of your, you know, that's the point, you're disciplining yourself. You know, you're finding your inner peace to some extent. And that's a really good lesson to somehow permeate through culture and through society. Yet, I don't see enough of it, in my opinion. We need more of that attitude that you can control yourself. You, you know, and that there is a way, you know, to find peace in life. You know, that there should be some kind of method. Not be just worried about it. Because that's all people do, in my opinion. I don't wake up in the morning and worry about whether somebody's going to come running into the house and causing trouble and, and hurting me or any of that. I don't worry about it because it's, you know, it's part of who I am. You know, I'm a person who's been constantly training his body to be in, in a state of, of just chill for 24-7 if I can. If I do have to go crazy and start shit, yeah, but most of the time I'm more like, nah. I just want to fuck a bitch. I just want to relax. And that's it. Everybody's concerned with go to college. Everybody's concerned with do this, do that. Jump around, start in a war with somebody, whatever the fuck. All I want to do with my freaking life is get some pussy. That's pretty much it. And, you know, you can say, talk shit to me all day. I'm still going to try to get pussy. And they're not going to stop. You know, so, you know, good luck with that shit. Alright, um, so, you know, do what you gotta do, I don't know what you do, but I know what I do, and I'm gonna be working on this project, I gotta lose weight, and I'm gonna try to get the role of Lando Calrissian in the Han Solo film, and if they don't hire me for that, I'm not even gonna ask for money, I'll do it for nothing, this is Star Wars, Star Wars deserves it, Star Wars is, is, is the most beautiful thing in the world, you know, so, Let's you know. Let's let's get it done. I, I'm hoping that they they seek out a person who loves Star Wars to do it, and not just some actor. Because an actor, you know, it's not about. It's more about I gotta pay my bills to them, you know. And me, I can get a job. I hope you know if the, if a position opens for the Metro North, they pay eighteen dollars an hour. And if I get that job, I'm gonna have a nice apartment. I'm gonna have the Ritz. So. I'm not out of the loop as far as getting a job is concerned. Question is, do you want to get this movie done the way that it's supposed to be done, which is with passion? You know, so hopefully they're smart enough to say, we have the guy. You know, we don't have to worry about that aspect. Because they're worried. I'm pretty sure Philip Lord and Chris Miller are worried that they're not going to be able to deliver the film that they want to deliver and, you know, entertain people and, and, and make a great film. And, you know, of course, cast it the right way. So, I guarantee you, you seek me out. Listen, I've, I've, I, 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 I've gone and, and done the Star Wars thing as a fan since I was a little, more than like a little eight-year-old. You know, it was around that period where I discovered the film series. And, you know, it's real. It's not a situation where I'm trying to create a sense of being a fan. This is a this is me as a kid watching this film series as a kid and being blown off my fucking ass, you know, by the whole thing. And I believe you need a person like that on board with this movie. You can't have this movie's not going to work. It's not going to fly. In fact, I dare say they don't do they don't hire fans to make it. It's not going to work. It's just going to be a bad movie. So, you know, hopefully they're smart. You know, and I'd look exactly like Billy D. Williams. So, what the hell? You know, this dude that they cast for Han Solo, he kind of looks like Harrison Ford. Somewhat. You know, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. They, we're already seeing that they're kind of not knowing what they're doing with the film. Hopefully he 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 looks good enough. I don't know. He's he's definitely, you know, I don't know what his age is. I don't know, twenty six or something like that. But you know, Ford, you know, to me, he doesn't look exactly like him as much as as you as you as you'd hope he would. So, 
we'll see how it works out if with the makeup and all that and you know it all comes down to the makeup and the lighting and stuff like that and of course acting he has to actually perform like Harrison Ford would it would do Han Solo and it's it's I feel sorry for the dude he's gonna have his entire performance scrutinized to to the to the nth degree I could put Lando back and forth not only do I look exactly like him but you know I can get Billy D's intonations down who might you be baby you know things like that I can do all of that stuff people will look at my performance as Lando and I guarantee you they will not say he's off he's exactly like him so I don't know about this this dude playing hand hopefully Hopefully he works out. All right. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you watch this crap and whatever, see you later.